Measuring Penny by Laureen Leedy. For Joyce, who will go the extra mile. My name is Lisa, and my teacher says our next big homework project is to measure something. Mr. Jason says we can measure anything like a sofa, a television set, or a doll. Measuring homework, due next Tuesday. Number one, choose something to measure. Number two, measure it in as many ways as you can. Height, width, length, weight, volume, temperature, time. Record your results. Include at least one comparison. It is taller than or heavier than, etc. Remember, a measurement always has two parts, a number and a unit. For example, I am six feet tall. Which units can you use? Here are some examples. Standard units, inches, feet, yards, centimeters, meters, teaspoons, cups, gallons, pounds, minutes, etc. Non-standard units, paper clips, bricks, frogs, marbles, pencils, toes, etc. Use your imagination. How tall, how heavy, how small, measuring helps us to understand the world. When I got home today, my dog Penny jumped all over me as usual. Wow, I could measure Penny for my homework. She is a Boston Terrier and is bigger than a pug and smaller than a Cocker Spaniel. She's about the size of a Shetland Sheepdog. Penny, please stop drooling. Come on, Penny. I'll get a ruler and we'll run over to the park. Look at all the dogs out here today. Hey, get down. I can't believe how many dogs live around here. Fine, I'll measure some of you too. We're supposed to use a standard unit. So let me use inches to see how long your noses are. Stop licking my face. Shetland Sheepdog, four inches. Penny, one inch. Pug, half inch. Penny's measurements. Nose, one inch. Unit, inch. Tail, length, equals one dog biscuit. Unit, dog biscuit. I'll measure your tails with a non-standard unit. Dog biscuits. Will you please hold still? Penny has the shortest tail. One dog biscuit. The fox terrier's tail. Four dog biscuits. Mixed breed. Six dog biscuits. Greyhound. Ten dog biscuits. I'll measure your ears with another non-standard unit. Cotton swabs, don't wiggle so much. Pug, half swab. Penny, one swab. Basset hound, three swabs. Penny's ear, length equals one swab. Unit, cotton swab. Let's see how wide your paw prints are. I'll turn over my ruler and measure with another standard unit, centimeters. Mixed breed, five centimeters. Deshond, two and a half centimeters. Penny, three centimeters. Cocker Spaniel, four centimeters. Penny's paw print, width equals three centimeters. Unit, centimeter. I want to see how tall you are. Everybody sit. Dashound, 12 inches or one foot. Cocker Spaniel, 
24 inches or two feet, greyhound, 36 inches or three feet, mixed breed, 48 inches or four feet, and penny, 18 inches, one and a half feet. Penny's height, 18 inches, unit inch. 12 inches equals one foot. Penny is one and a half feet tall. Three feet equals one yard. Penny is half a yard tall. Let's see how high you can jump. Penny can jump up to my waist. I could use myself to measure with over my head. The greyhound jumped. The fox terrier jumped shoulder high. Penny jumped waist high. The basset hound jumped knee high. The Shetland sheepdog jumped chest high. And it looks like the pug and the dash hound did not want to jump. Penny's jump as high as my waist. The unit, me. There is no scale here in the park, so I can't weigh anything. Wait, I could use the seesaw to see how heavy Penny is compared with the other dogs. The seesaw is down on Penny's end, so she is heavier than the pug. Weight comparison. Penny is heavier than the pug, lighter than the Cocker Spaniel, same as the Shetland Sheepdog. Now Penny's end is up because she is lighter than the Cocker Spaniel. The seesaw is balanced, so she weighs about the same as the Shetland Sheepdog. You look thirsty, Penny. We'd better go home and get you a drink. See you later, everybody. Let's stop in the bathroom so I can weigh you. Get on the scale. You're exactly 16 pounds. Now let's go to the kitchen for your drink. Penny's weight, 16 pounds. Unit, pound. Mr. Jason says volume is the amount of space something fills like water in a cup. So what volume of water do you want? A cup, a pint, a quart, or a gallon? Maybe a tablespoon or teaspoon? You drank a cup of water already today and I'll give you another cup now. I suppose you're hungry too. No, you can't have the whole bag of dog food. I'll give you half a cup. Drinking water per day, one to three cups. Food per day, one cup dry, half cup canned, unit cup. Sometimes dad and I make homemade dog biscuits. We measure the ingredients so they taste good, at least to you know who. I'm going to follow Penny around all day Saturday to measure how much time I spend taking care of her. I'll make a poster for this part. Penny's schedule, 6 a.m., wake up. 6 to 7, patrol house. 7 o'clock, bark to wake up everybody. 7.05, take quick walk. 7.10, eat breakfast. 7.20, beg for scraps. 8 o'clock, howl when mom goes out. 8.10, take nap. 8.45, nibble dog biscuits. 12 noon, eat lunch. 12.15, take nap. 1 o'clock, gnaw bone. 1.15, investigate weird noise in basement. 2 o'clock, snooze for a while. 2.30, bark, run in circles. 2.35, go for a long walk. 3.45, carry newspaper in. 4 o'clock, watch cartoons. Taking care of Penny, how much time does it take? Every day, feeding her, 
10 minutes. Brushing her, 15 seconds. She has short hair. Walking her, five minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the afternoon, 10 minutes at night. Playing with her, half hour to one hour. Weekly, giving her a bath, 15 minutes to one hour. Clipping her toenails, five minutes. Units, hours, minutes, and seconds. I'll measure how quickly Penny can run to different places. She can get from her bed to the kitchen in six seconds. Penny's times, her bed to her dish, six seconds. Across the backyard, four seconds. Around the block, five minutes. To the park, seven minutes. To my bus stop, 15 seconds. Units, minutes, and seconds. Temperature is important to Penny. She doesn't like things that are too hot or too cold. Penny likes to go on longer walks when the weather is nice. In fact, you can almost tell the temperature outside just by looking at her. Penny the thermometer. 80 degrees, 60 degrees, 40 degrees, 20 degrees, zero degrees. Unit degrees Fahrenheit. The last thing I'm going to measure Penny with is money. Mom looked through her checkbook to help me figure this out. We decided Penny is kind of expensive, but she's worth a lot too. Cost of having Penny. To buy puppy, $275. Food for one year, $400. Vet, one year, $120. Toys, collar, etc., $75. Units, dollars and cents. The value of having Penny. As a burglar alarm, $1,000. As an exercise machine, $500. As entertainment, $20 a day. For love, a million dollars. Units, dollars and cents. I'm sure Mr. Jason will give me a good grade on this measuring project. Penny, maybe, we should change your name to Million.